Hello group, Jeff here. It's been a while. <clears throat> uh, during one of my broadcasts, Lance asked about some of the uh, CG that I have on my uh, streams. And today I will try to explain how I do it. I use OBS. Uh, I know that's not everyone's favorite, but you can do an awful lot in it. So here we go. So the first thing I want to do is go to the desktop. And the only way for me to show you what I'm doing is uh, we're going to have to put up with this mess so that you can see what I'm clicking on and where I'm going. So I am going to add a uh, CG scroll that will include uh, my gear and my settings. And how you do that <clears throat> is click on the plus sign in your scene, or not your scene, but in your source, and click on the text uh, GDI plus. And in here, we're going to just call it gear and settings to make it easy to find. And this is where you will enter all of the pertinent information, the size of the text. We don't care about it. We want it to be as big as the system can handle it because it's easier to make text smaller than it is to make text, small text bigger. <laughs> So I'm going to just start entering some information. C14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then uh, no filters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then gain of 40, exposure of 15, oops. Got the space. And then we want to do uh, that would be saturation, sat would be eighty eight. Uh, contrast would be sixteen and gamma of one point that's the default oops man i'm really blowing it here and then bin one uh dark Flat, uh, we'll do planetary, and number six, and sharpen of 150. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll say OK. And you can see that it is very big. In fact, it's so big it goes off screen, but that's okay. We're just going to grab the text in the corner here and just drag it to the, to the right until we get it the size we want. Like so. Getting closer. Oops. Just a little bit more. That's good. Okay, so we'll pretend that the Mellencamp Sky window is here. And the thing that I want to do is I have all this information down here, which is up here, and most of that information is off screen. So how are we going to fix that? Well, as long as the CG box is in red 
and you go down to properties, you'll see filters. We want to add a filter. And the filter we want to add is a scroll. And we'll call this uh, gear and settings. And I already know the speed I want, so we'll pick 250. And we want it to loop. And we'll close this. And you can now see that all of my data is going to scroll infinitum for however long I have the uh, my stream going. If I don't want that anymore, I can just click on the little eye, eye right here. And that just gets, leaves it leaves it, it just turns it on and off. So now what I want to do is I want to take and use my lower third. And the lower thirds in the broadcast business are good for uh, throwing up the name of what's happening on screen or a name of somebody with a title. And I happen to have... Uh, my target, and I call it object, and my name and host. The name and host will show up in the center, and the target will show off, show up in the right. So how do we add that to, uh, to the window? What we need to do is first add uh, add this as a doc, and I already have that done, but I'll show you where it's done, and it's called Lower Thirds. You go into Custom Browser Decks, or Docs, I'm sorry, and this is the path of where I have the Control Panel HTML located, and it's not on my C drive. I don't like to keep stuff like this on my C drive, so I have a, a secondary drive on this machine where I can store data like this. So let me show you where we get it. Uh, I did a search for OBS lower thirds, and this was one of the search locations. And this is the one that I'm using. So I'll put a link to it in the description below. You don't see it, just click on show more. And I've already downloaded it. So if we go to my downloads, you'll see there's lower thirds here. And what I have done is I have unzipped them and I have saved them to my D drive in my OBS studio folder called lower thirds. And if we drill down into the lower thirds, there's a browser source in the control panel and the control panel is the dock right there where all that information would be. So what we want to do is click here and copy the address's text. And then it's control panel hyphen uh, control hyphen panel dot html. We want to remember that because we have to add it. So in OBS we would go to view and we need to add the doc which I have already done. And if you look there's the path and there's the uh, what gets activated and then you would apply it and close this and that would put this dock down here i've just dragged it up here because you can dock these things anywhere but this is where it would show up once it's activated so i'm just taking it and putting it in, in here so now what we want to do is we need to add the browser source to a window and we'll use this window click on the plus sign and we go to browser and we'll call this uh, lower thirds and there's my path so what we want to do is put the path here and we need to put, make sure we get it right, and we have to add the .html. The screen size is 1920 by 1080, and yours would be whatever you're grabbing. 
for screen. We don't need this CSS code. So we're deleting that. We're going to shut down source when not visible and refresh the browser. We're going to refresh the cache and say OK. We're going to turn this stuff on. And as soon as I click on this, it should show up. And there it is, right here. So when I go to a new target, all I have to do is just change this line right here, which I usually have trouble doing. But you get the, you get the effect. And to change the, the amount of time that this stuff is up, uh, it takes four seconds to come on when it's triggered. It's, it hangs for 25 seconds, and then for 150 seconds, it's gone, and then it loops. And it'll do that as long as that blue, as long as this is turned on. And you can see the little counter right here. It's 21, 22. That's the, that's the pause counter. And then when that reaches 150, you'll see that this counts down to four. As it's counting down to four, it's building the effect. And then it starts the countdown again for 25 seconds. So it'll count to one to 25. And then when it hits 26, it starts count down here for the pause. So uh, two simple things that you can do in OBS. Uh, if you need to change your text, as long as that box is in the red or this is selected here, you can see the text right there and you can make changes. So let's see, we got uh, planetary. Let's make this deep sky. And there it is. It's already made the change. So as soon as you type it in, it's it's going live, which is why I kind of like this. There's no fussing around. So it's very easy to set up. Uh, once you once you get a feel for what OBS can do, uh, the mind can kind of wander. <laughs> you don't want to have a lot of stuff on the screen because then it gets a little too busy. But uh, I think your name, uh, because looking up isn't my name. My name is Jeff. And the target, that's one of the things that everyone is always asking, what's the target? So as long as you can keep scrolling through that stuff, you don't have to keep uh, saying it during your broadcast. And then the other important information, which people are always asking for during your broadcast, is uh, what gear is it? What gear are you using? and uh, your settings. Now the settings would be tough to keep up with because I change them pretty quick, but that was just an example to show what you can do or what you can add to a scroll like this. Uh, if you don't like any of them, you can just turn them off. Hit the little I and turn them off. As soon as you turn them back on, especially with the uh, the lower thirds, they they come on together. You'll do the same effect, and then they leave together, which is what I, I really like about it, because it happens at the same time. So if you have any questions, you know where I live. And uh, sorry for the big uh, pause between my last video and this one, but uh, sometimes life gets in the way of things. And uh, I have a couple more videos uh, that I'm working on that still needs some finishing touches. So uh, when I get those done, I'll post them also. We'll see you in the group. Thanks.